<laughs> Welcome to Sleepy Cabin, episode the finale. Right? <laughs> just go right to the chase. <laughs> yeah. Just right to the fucking chase. Yeah. I don't know if this is the. F- uh, we discussed it. No, right? it's over on 28, I checked. This Wait, really? Yeah, this was yeah that's why I said if we could Because this more fucking Nimrod made it 27B. <laughs> you fucking shit. Yeah, <laughs> fucking side A, side B. <laughs> I wanted you guys to be hey, side Mix, two more. the fucking that's track why. over, Mick. Welcome to 1961 technology. You dome skull. It's called fool. a whole new podcast. You know what, Mick? I don't know why you ever brought you on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests, buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit. Hey! I waited, I waited two years for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I just okay. said. Hey, it's uh, Corey Speskin. We're put, doing put subtitles up for episode <laughs> twenty nine. <laughs> episode twenty nine of Sleepy Cabin twenty nine twenty eight. Let's put creepy ass Borat subtitles up. For that. <laughs> <laughs> the, Dead the, Russian the language. The fucking music. <laughs> um, I'm here with. Mm. Zach Hadel. Yes, it's true. Docs. Or uh, Psychic Pebbles. Wait a dog. Yeah, wait a dog. Me, dude. <laughs> um, Corey Delaminguez. Yeah, me. Corey Delaminguez. Uh, Jeff. Jeff uh, Utah. X Utah. Johnny Utah. <laughs> Sorry, I, you, I haven't said our, our usernames in a long time. I know. Time. You looked hard. at him. Your eyes went dead for a moment. I'm confused. Like, you went like, to another <laughs> dimension. Zach yeah, Hadel. Yeah. Jeff <laughs> Bangling. <laughs> or G- or Johnny me, Utah. Me. I'll just say Jeff, Johnny yeah, Utah. Yeah, 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 Jeff. Chris O'Neill. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, All right. Tony. That's wonderful. And Mick. Uh, rice pirate Lauer. Yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, That's Perfect. I, no, that was horrible. Don't. You know, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's, it makes sense. You'd be a little. It has rusty. been a long time. You're rusty, really. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get embarrassed? Your name sounds like flower. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really that wasn't even funny. What are you <laughs> laughing for? You should literally leave right now. That was. <laughs> that, was that, was bad, that wasn't dude. funny at all. That made Mick, it even more fucking Mick funny. Your reaction. Mick turned whatever. Turned I saw your red. balls shrivel into your pants when I said that. <laughs> Mick's balls were sticking out of both pant legs. Now suck back in. Stop staring at my. Balls, you can't. You're spreading okay. into me. You're, you're, it look bit. at the way you're sitting. Look at you. Look your at, long look, eyelashes. Look at the way you're no, sitting. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch Stop. your dick, dude. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh my god. If Vic was a meta black alien, what would he be if he took his head off? <laughs> Like a weird like little, weird. uh... Look like you, Zach. You'd be like Horn a little... Gonna uh, say a weird China, but I didn't say <laughs> Yeah. A little copper alien. <laughs> <laughs> copper alien? Whatever, how do you even pronounce your last name, Corey? Yeah. It's like LaCroix, right? Can I say this? <laughs> LaCroix. Yeah. Lasagna. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Dumbass. Corey Lasagna. Perfect. Okay, enough of the chit-chat. Let's get down to the chit-chat. Let's get, we should, let's get okay. down to breast We should... Yeah. We, wanted, we were saving the story. We didn't really tell the details. It was something that happened. It was really funny. Yeah. Probably something that'll never happen to me again in my life. Because I don't feel like this could happen. Didn't fucking happen to you. Well, no, it kind of did. There. But uh, mine was worse. No, you set it no, up. I I no, it's funny. <laughs> Chris is. What Chris the fuck is, happened? The antithesis <laughs> of the story is hilarious in Chris's side. Yeah. But it's funny how it all sets up. With so the antithesis, we, we, like we need a yang to this story. I don't even know what I just said. We need to rewind time a little bit. Is there an alternate the dimension beginning. version of the story? S- start the story. I don't know. Okay. When it gets to the, to the juicy part, I'll give the super details. Should we start about how it all like started where you were like watching a certain thing? Take us back. Oh, oh shit! Okay, yeah, okay, we're back in time. We're sitting in the living room. Corey's visiting. Uh, it's like the first time we've hung out in like a long time. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Corey, this, this uh, fucking this weird guy on Twitter that I don't know who he is sent me a YouTube channel, and uh, he he told me to promise not to name it, so I won't. But it, 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 it we'll is it, vivid it is <laughs> it is. Wait, just tell me. I'll bleep it out. But I want to hear it. What was it? Uh, okay. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> now I gotta bleep it twice. <laughs> anyway, go on. But uh, it's a YouTube channel made uh, so, so that autistic people can post videos and, and enjoy, you know, sure. releasing content. Be to... a part of the community. But <laughs> me, me and Corey uh, specifically enjoy that culture of yes. videos. Yeah. You appreciate it a little too much. You're kind of sore. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like. I'm not saying we laugh at them, but goddamn, no, they can be funny. No, we laugh directly at them. They can be. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but they, they made a video that's it could literally be picked up it by is, Adult Swim. Yeah, like, no, it is brilliant. It's there's something about 
autistic people. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not gonna feel bad. Uh, no, no, they're I'm, fucking hilarious funny. when they, they want to be. Brilliant. Yeah, but yeah. they have a sense of writing that cannot be matched. No, like, you, it's like so they're, they're in danger. Yeah, a it's a, we could show you it. They, okay. It's hilarious. Are they trying to be funny? They are but, sometimes, but sometimes they try. Okay, so Corey also discovered that they have this specific style of humor that yes. just so happens to be used by the nostalgia critic and yes. like Link Hour and all these guys. <laughs> if you <laughs> see movies like Kickassia and yeah. Suburban <laughs> Suburban Legends Nights, whatever the fuck, you can just tell that like. You know, they will say certain things like they will try to be like the cool snarky protagonist. Yeah, they'll always be sarcastic and be like, "What is this? This is weird." It's just like it's always like that kind of a thing. Oh boy, here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> it's like it's always that kind of a thing, right? But anyway, we were watching that. We were laughing. We were belly rubbing. We were having a good time. <laughs> belly, belly rubbing our belly. This is the setup. So the next day, uh, we all decide to go to uh, Knott's Berry Farm, yeah. right, which is a theme park. <laughs> We're trying to get Jeff to go, but he's like, eh, nah. Can I, can I bring up the fact that you, when you guys told us it was Knott's Berry Farms, every single person thought we were literally going to a berry every farm. Every person yeah, I knew no, was like, I thought yeah, we're going to go went. fucking smush berries. Well, to be fair, you can't do that. I would absolutely berries. do that, by the way. Really? Yeah, talking, like, we're going to go to a berry, berry farm. Like, stop by yeah. berries and pick you guys want to go to a berry farm? Like, it's actually right. a pretty good theme park. Like, it's, it was. It, it's it not was bad. cool. Pretty good. I heard every single fucking ride you guys went on. I should have Okay, let me get to that. Let me get to that. Okay, I'm gonna get to it. So we, we all put on our boots. We all go out and get in the car We drive for like an hour to get there, right? We show up we wait around in line for like 30 minutes Finally get in. Why didn't you whip out your Oni card and be like, I'm I'm Oni I don't from think Oni it was too Mr. Knott's Berry <laughs> gives a fuck, fuck who I am. Mr. Knott's fucking <laughs> Mr. Mr. died a while Mr. ago. Mr. cares not about me. It was so, you and Corey and, and I ditched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff ditched, right? We were like, fuck Jeff, big Jake, fucking blowjob faggot. Jake, Jake originally was with us. <laughs> yeah. But he also bailed yeah, because no, he didn't yeah. have enough yeah. room. So it was me, Veronica, Corey, Lexi, Waffle, and, that was, and Reese. Or was that it? Was that, that was it, right? It was just us five. No, and her brother David. And David, Veronica's brother David. And right? little Jeremy. That's was very important. And little, little tiny Jeremy was his <laughs> yeah. He got lost. But uh, so. <laughs> Never found again. Yeah. We finally get into the park, right? Uh, it's a hot day, right? Very hot. So we're just like walking around. It takes like five minutes to find the first ride. It's like some ghost train thing. Uh, Veronica's like, it's the best ride ever. We get up to it and uh, it's like we walk through the line. We're like, where the fuck is everyone? Get to the end of the line. It's like, oh, this ride's broken. You can leave now. We're like, cool. Yeah. So we walk like five, ten minutes to the next uh, ride. What was this one? It was called it's the Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet. We get to that. Uh, We're we, literally in line. To we, get on we, it. we wait in a sweaty line. <laughs> so you're in line, kids, for like 30 <clears throat> minutes. Get to the front. The ride breaks down in front of us. Right. We're all <laughs> like, Are you fucking serious? Right. And then the people on the <laughs> on the two. the people on the on the prompter are like. <laughs> And we're like, what the fuck are they saying? That's what they did. Like, no, they were literally like, <laughs> and everyone's like, we can't fucking understand. You know that they know that you can't Definitely. understand them. They, they do it. They I was either. thinking. They, they didn't say there was any difficulties. Yeah. They just said like, we're currently experiencing like. No, they were like, we don't know what's going on. Just yeah. wait around. We're like, okay. at least that's what you think they said. Well, no, yeah. right. Well, piece together. While you say that, I was literally thinking maybe that is like a weird theme park tactic to get people just to be like, what, 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 what? and like right. confuse you just so you wait around a little bit. But anyway, we waited. For an, uh, like 50 minutes while it was broken down, and then they did it again. They went, and we're just like, wait for the same ride. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck were you standing there for, waiting for that Cause, ride? Because they said, it, would they be said it, it might come back. Oh, we but got then, that bit at the end. But then know. after 50 minutes, was anybody from, working on it, or are you guys just waiting in line okay, while nobody? Every like, ride and forth, going, every <laughs> ride is operated by morbidly obese women. Like I'm not even <laughs> That's kidding. That's fucking beautiful. No, no, it is. An, it's <laughs> a new way. Beautiful. That's fucking the most beautiful shit I ever heard. But anyway, let me tell you something. That's not exactly a good. Thing for the uh, ending of Corey, this. what's up? <laughs> oh, what's up? All right, no spoilers, but please. But a 900 pound beautiful goddess with a fucking cane. <laughs> <laughs> with four <laughs> tennis <laughs> balls on the end. Oh, my God. Knocking all the fucking but wrong buttons. Not fucking <laughs> causing a lot of fucking spark. <laughs> but, anyways. Fucking Nintendo shit cube was messing with Corey. Corey. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Sorry. No, no, it's cool. Uh, anyway, we're like, uh, f this place fucking sucks. And I was in a really bad mood at this point, right? I'm already getting tired from the sun. I'm getting a little burnt. Uh, I haven't eaten yet, so uh, we're walking to the next ride. It takes 10 minutes to walk to the next ride, and it was called La Revolution, right? Mm -hmm. And we wait in line for like 30, 40 minutes. 
even though it's one of those basic rides that you just like you get on it, it spins around for yeah. a bit, and then you get like off. A teacup thing, you mean? Yeah, uh, it's like a teacup it thing spins attached and goes back and forth like those oh, pirate it's like things. The ships. It, it's like a ship with yeah, teacups, yeah, yeah. so you're spinning around and it's swinging up and this down. Sounds so, so, so you got up terrible, early in the dude. morning. You got up early in the morning, packed everybody in a yeah. car, drove an hour out to this place. We should also it, say two rides so far. This is no also goes. important. Yeah, like this is important. Veronica covered like half the tickets. Yeah, because like you know we were gonna pay her back after everything. So she. It was three hundred dollars. Three hundred essentially waste our so time. So far, it's been like five hours since you like started your journey. Yeah. Both rides aren't working. You've been standing three, in line. Okay, no, this, this those are roller coasters. Yeah, they were both roller coasters. Like the main attractions, pretty much, right? Yeah. So. We're waiting in this line now, right? We're just waiting around. We notice, like, wait a minute, this ride, like, it's taking a really long time to get on. Like, what is going on? Yeah. So we're, like, looking over. Two massive, like, morbidly obese ogre women walking back and forth, like, looking confused, scratching mm -hmm. their tits. And then, <laughs> scratching like, their tits. <laughs> flicking flies off their That's noses and shit. Hot. So we're just, like, we, no, we, we started looking at them, right? And they're, they're literally walking, like, so fucking slowly to get people on and off each of the seats, right? So yes. there's a row of four seats per like uh, hanging capsule of this thing right yeah. you sit in the capsule with four or with three of your friends so four people and we're just like why are they fucking walking so slowly yeah, they're they, just like they just hate their they're just lives stumbling they're so Ooh. fucking bored and then they fucking uh, we wait around it's really rude they could have diabetes they could have fake feet they could all have of them legs. definitely have diabetes well, uh, the, <laughs> they're all the, definitely made maybe of 40 they should have got wood. longer fucking tennis ball canes because yeah. it was a, it was a long wait <laughs> 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 that's all I'm saying <laughs> no right and they've all got like bibs of barbecue sauce <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, at this point, at this point, we're like, what the fuck is taking so long, right? We're getting really antsy and annoyed. Of oh, course, spend hours in the hot sun. Especially me. I'm like, I'm a cranky boy when I haven't eaten, right? So yeah, you are. we get to the front of the queue and now it's about to happen again. We literally see them say something like, oh, don't let them on. And we're like, are you fucking serious? And we're like, Ugh, right? And, but then they're like, oh, wait, no, no, no. There's, there's four. Let them on. So we're like, thank you, right? Yeah. So it's uh, five of us. So we all can't fit on one. So, Corey, Lexi, and Waffle sit in one capsule with a random person. Oh, with David. David. And then me and Veronica sit on a capsule with one random person and an empty seat, right? Okay. So, takes ten minutes to get us on, get us buckled. They're walking back and forth going, uh, 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 Did your seat work? Uh, uh. It's like, yes, I yeah. fucking assume the, so. The adjustment right? thing is weird, because they're like, pull it down, lift it up. Yeah, they, it they down, made us do that like ten times, right? We're like, like, we're like, what is going on? What's it's fucking weird. stick? Yeah, like, what is this? Like, yeah. people, there was children who were holding on. Like, <laughs> We're gonna fucking die. Like, they didn't know what yeah. was going on. No, right? So finally, finally, <laughs> finally, the fucking ride, uh, we pull down the things that keep you locked in so you don't fl like flap out and die. And it starts moving slowly. Thank we're like, God. Okay. We're like, yay, right? Clear sailing. But then, right, oh. within a minute, Veronica starts screaming, right? I'm just like, what the fuck is your problem? She's like, it's not supposed to go this high. And I'm just like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. And like, it goes really fucking high, like five times in a row. It's yes. Like, well, it's supposed to hit its peak once and then. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Like that swinging, is it like yes. that swinging battleship yeah. or that yeah, 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 pirate yeah. ship that goes back and forth? But yes. it's, it's like going to the point where it can't go no more, and, <laughs> and then it's like clanking up against it. <laughs> and the then meat. it's going back around and yeah. doing and it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm fucking, I'm, <laughs> scre I'm screaming my fucking mind, like my eyes and everything. I can't even believe what's yeah. going on. And I had no idea. I thought this was just like, oh, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. So then it does this five times, right? And I'm just like, I'm enjoying myself. So like, if I'm going to die, it might as well be like this. This is fun, right? Getting Flung into s fucking the stratosphere oh on a God. fucking pirate ship, not very Teacup farm thing, ride. Yeah. yeah, right. So then um, we're like, "See, Veronica, you're just being a big baby, right?" And then it's just like slowing down. But then it gets to this point where it doesn't stop. It just keeps like swaying yeah. back and forth and it, back it, and forth. It eventually stopped. No, wait, wait, Corey. Force. Before that, yeah. it did this for 15 minutes. Yeah, it wouldn't 15 stop. 15 minutes. It, it swayed back and forth, right? And then I look over at Corey. He's like, Ooh. "I was so sick because I was doing this and it was like this and <laughs> right. it was like that." I'm like, like, I'm gonna die. Like, Veronica's brother David is like spitting little bubbles out and spitting it onto the floor because yeah. he's about to throw How up. How high off the ground are you at this point? They oh, drop the floor. So the, the, the steel floor lowers down for you to start the ride. So this, the, the floor is still down. We're hanging about five, six feet off the ground, right? Yeah. So we're still swaying back and forth. And now I'm just like, this is fucking hilarious, right? But then the girl on my right, she starts going, Log ride, log ride, log ride, log ride, log ride, log ride. She was either saying log ride or, or long, long ride. Yeah, it sounds like long ride. I think it was long yeah. ride. Yeah. <laughs> but she's going, long ride, long ride, long ride, 
Wait, 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 was there even a log ride at the fucking? Uh, yeah, park? there is. There is. Maybe she. Okay, look. She be might have been. So it's yeah. one or the other. I yeah. think it was long ride because because it's been like twenty minutes on this fucking ride now, right? <laughs> We're all trapped. I can't even move. No arm room. And right, just... and I, I, I'm noticing like, fuck, she's autistic. Yeah. Fuck, I'm trapped on this with a, with a, like a screaming autistic person. Chris, How long like, is Chris, this? That's gonna... like your Twilight Zone. <laughs> no, I know you deserve. Like I deserve this. That was the setup. This is it's what you're like, saying. Like that's what we fucking... had to have the intro. No, right. So in my mind, I'm like, please don't let her start scratching. Don't let her start screaming. Don't let her start doing all this shit, right? And I'm just like, l then I look over to Corey and Lexi who have noticed her, and they're both laughing at me. They're like, <laughs> you fucking deserve this. And I'm just like, no. Right? She turns around and looks you dead in the eyes as she says. No, that. She never said a word to me the entire time, but she did for like I think we were stuck on it for an hour straight. It was an hour. So, no way. Yes. It was. So, we'll tell you why. Somebody yeah. shat themselves on that ride. <laughs> no, you'll That's see. What I would say, dude, it I, was I have lunacy. The of a can I, can I like, yeah. kind of like take yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So people started showing up. They're like, oh, we have an issue. In case you didn't know, we're like, oh, uh, water, because there's sun, and they're just like, <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay. And like the dude, like Dave next to me, is like, I'm, I'm gonna puke, because it was like Chris was in the sun. Luckily, yeah. we. We were kind of in I the was, shade. I was in the sun for an hour, so my, one side of my head was completely pink yeah. and red. Oh god, it was bad. <laughs> and then they showed up with like, so we don't know big people, right? They were still like fucking moseying around, like they were at Golden Corral. They have nothing. To oh, worry I actually about. know what you meant for a second. You said like they were a race of people, like the big. People. They are a race the of people. The big people were just walking around, <laughs> pressing buttons, hoping something worked. They were walking, walking back like and forth, screwing shit, walking. <laughs> no, around. yeah. And then like some people just showed buttons. up. Yeah. Some people showed up, and they had like this big like metal thing. And they went up to like one person's thing and started poking it, and then like they're like, it's they're not just, like, working. Poking a hole, and we're like, they they free like two people after thirty minutes. It's like maybe yeah. you should think of a new fucking plan. Yeah, I know. And this is the fucked up thing is that the, the entire time they're like getting people off. This autistic girl next to me is going log ride. <laughs> Right, and she did that once, and I was like, "God, fucking please, no!" Right, my, I'm, I'm like resting my ear on on the padded foam to like make myself deaf in one ear, so it's not hurting my ears bad. And then, um, there's a point where they're getting one person off every five minutes, counterclockwise to exactly to where we were. They started next oh, to us, no. so we're dead last in this whole oh, thing, right? Yeah. So no. they got off one capsule of people, and then I went, "Hey." <laughs> she needs to get off, right? And then everyone else was like, "Yeah, she needs to get off." And then all oh, you were looking out for. Her. Well, it's, technically, it's yes, so right? Selfless. Yeah. No, oh, that that's was. That's not yeah. selfless. <laughs> that's not right. selfless. Okay. <laughs> like, I wanted her to get off, right? But I also know that she should have gotten off first, right? Would you have been equally okay if she got hit in the head with something and no, passed no? Out? Did they let okay, you so off? You with do her. just want yeah. her to get that's off. That's the thing, right? Here's another funny thing. So I say, get her off, pretty much, right? In a nice way. And then they come over. They unscrew Veronica. And I'm like, why you fucking start with Veronica? Why? Right? Yeah. And then they unscrew me out and then her. Uh -huh. And then as I'm like walking out, this guy was like, oh, it's convenient. You got to get off too, huh? And I was like, fuck you, asshole. Yeah. I'm so fucking mad. And I was like, why didn't they just go for her first? Yeah. I actually think I did that. Hey, hey, get her off. And then they did someone else. And I had to do it a second time for them to finally do it. Right. Yeah. I mean, so like, who, uh, there was people who were baking in the, in the sun. Yeah. So when they got to me, I was like, you need to get these people who are dying. Dying in the sun over there. A little girl was crying. Yeah, the girl was ball. <laughs> the girl was bawling, and they freed her first. Did I guarantee someone pissed themselves with that for an absolutely. hour? What absolutely. hour? Absolutely. Probably. Little, oh, absolutely. Slurpees bouncing around, yeah. Yeah. Dude, swinging like, back and forth, clanging that against the top like of the bar. There was like a little kid who clearly didn't look like he was the size that should be fitting in there. Yeah. And he was pissed. Like he's just like after hell. <laughs> when the girl was like screaming log ride, he's like, "You need to shut up." <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. He was just like, pissed. I didn't hear that. How old was this kid? He was like a little eight year old. He's like when they. Freed, like the girl is crying. He's like, I'm next. And he's right next to his dad. And his dad's like, kind of like, I didn't hear that. Shoulder. Yeah, it was funny. But like, you got these things at your crotch pushing up so you don't slip out. Yeah. And it's like, it hurts your balls so much. And like, you can't even like move your arms. It's like you're, you're like caged by a big giant hand or something. Yeah, you and you can't move. move. It sucks. This reminds me of that Twilight episode where the guy has a bomb shelter and there's that, they're having a dinner party, but then they hear that there's going to be a nuclear bomb. So then he goes into a shelter, but all his neighbors try to go in yeah. and he like oh. tries to lock them out. 
yeah, but yeah. just basically how like humans become absolute psychos when like the conditions are right. Yeah. Like if people are dehydrated and baking in the sun and <laughs> swinging around on a ride for an hour, that they just start turning on each other. Condition, yeah. yeah. The conditions have to be slightly, <laughs> slightly off to what yeah. they should be. But, Wait, fuck but there's it. like a perfect, all civility goes out the window. Yeah. There's a perfect conclusion is when we got off that ride. Uh, Did the girl thank you? No, uh, that's the thing. Her her carer came over wearing a like autism T-shirt and she said that must have been so horrible for you. I'm so sorry. And in my mind, I'm just like I completely deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> completely deserved this. <laughs> It's like, and then uh, we tried getting a refund and we tried to go home. I had to wait around another hour to wait for that. Yeah, we had to wait for oh. that. Did you actually get, did you get a refund? Yeah. Uh, it, actually, no. Uh, she said we did, but her money never got returned. Are you fucking serious, yeah. dude? So thanks, Knots. Well, now we have it recorded, so fuck them. Welcome to hey. Ottsbury Farm. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's like, it, it was pretty concerning when we went in, like, after that. The, I mean, they gave us complimentary water, which was nice at the very fucking least, but we had been there for an hour in the yeah. sun. Complimentary yeah. water. Yeah, <laughs> complimentary water, water bottles. <laughs> and it's like, we, we... You would think, like, at that point, they'd be like, here's a free fast pass for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's anything, like, it's anything. Like, yeah. But we weren't going to do that because at this point, it's like Final Destination 2. Like, yeah. our heads are going to be fucking yeah. flopped off if we got on a roller coaster. Also, we would have died on the next fucking thing. <laughs> we all passed out in the car on the way back. Like, we were so tired. Me, yeah. drove, you know, like, maybe those two rides before this one were signs. You know yeah. that story about how, like, the guy who drowns waiting for God to save him, you know, there's like a flood and he's on his roof, yeah. and the guy comes by with a little paddle boat, and he's like, come on in, I, I can save you, he's like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm gonna pray to God, God will save me, and then another guy comes in with another boat, like a motor boat, he's like, come on, you gotta get in before the water rises, he's like, no, I'm gonna wait for God, and then finally the water rises all the way and he drowns, yeah. and he goes to heaven, he's like, God, why didn't you fucking save me, I prayed to you three times, and he's like, I tried <laughs> twice. Yeah, you're you dumb. Idiot. That was, that you was, idiot. That was it's like, what did you think the beams would pick you up like an alien? And you'd be saved that way. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think that uh, this was your signs. Absolutely. <laughs> I fucking think the same thing because, like, after that, I physically wouldn't get another ride. I was terrified of the outcome that would have happened. Yeah. I feel like so after something like that, I don't know if I could. Like, I'd be scarred a little bit. It was. It was scary. It wasn't that bad. I mean, the, the last no, ride was just, that bad, but it, it's not like the setup wouldn't be so bad. Like, if there were two rides that crashed and the last one worked, I'd be like, okay, we had two shitty rides that didn't work. Yeah. But this was in a row, and it escalated ever so slightly. It was like, we couldn't even get to the ride the first time, right. and the second time, we got to the ride, but, but it, it crashed. But it wasn't The third time, we got on the ride, but it crashed. The fourth time is, on what can you go from there? Yeah. Death. Never got the ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like the five stages of death. But it was, uh, it was, it was a good day. It was fun, um, sort of, whenever Wait, no, you what? got past everything, when you didn't get, like, fucking burned and at the next to someone who gave you definite hearing and shit. What did you actually do that was fun, though? Nothing. That was it. We were I love how you're like, yeah, no, but it was a fun day. It was, it was fun. It was a fun story to have yes, for the podcast. That, that's what you got out of it. Yeah, no, so that's the one benefit That's your $300 that. story. Yeah. Yeah. I went to a bookstore. Oh, uh, yeah, you got off scot-free, <laughs> Jeff. I had fun. You, you, yeah. <laughs> if you had a yes man and said yes, you would have yeah. the worst day of all time. Jeff, was he had that final destination moment when all you guys were like, come on, we're all going to Nuts Ferry Farm. <laughs> I just he, had and this he was like, You already saw it. Yeah, he saw the whole thing happen. You're like, long ride! No, he saw himself sitting next to the girl with autism screaming, long ride, long ride, long ride, long ride, and like it zapped him back in time and he, he was back in his room. Like, oh fuck. And then he got the call, hey, we're going to Knott's Berry Farm. He's like, oh fuck this, I'm going to a bookstore. Man, her voice was genetically engineered to be perfectly yeah. annoying. It like, was like, it was, Laura, Laura, Laura. It was like certain, terrible. Like, it's really, uh, it's really strange that they were able to free like people. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like these people who work at the place were coming over with a small screwdriver, prying the fucking thing, and they're like, I don't know what's happening. Then they show up with ladders and they freed everybody after that. It it's blows like, my mind. Uh, like they couldn't get there us out. It was like seven people, it, and it, I was like, yeah. smash the fucking wires and make all the things turn on, or make. A spin to death or it something. It really Let, took a while. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> but uh how, how would you rate Knott's Berry Farm? Oh, Yelp? Fucking, I would rate it a negative. The first three out time of I 10. went was good. Okay. And then this time was not. Yeah. So maybe a three out of five. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Three or two point five. five, you know what? I think fair. when rides start closing down, yeah. And there's like like these, right before your eyes. I yeah. Think, no, you know what? <laughs> I think it's time to close the That's park why I don't like theme parks, bit. is because they can have rides break down and yeah. you don't get reimbursed at all. It's like I paid to ride on rides, so what the fuck am I doing here? Those lines, I went to, uh, I went to an event for, um, there, there was a company sponsored 
an event and it was over at the Harry Potter World. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty close by. There were no there was nobody there. It was just the company. Yeah. So like just getting up there with nobody in front of you still took like 15 minutes to get to the fucking No, dude, some rides take an hour or two. Yeah, like, they do. It's and retarded. You get these winding, snaking fucking Who the lines fuck pays with, like, to do that? I don't yeah, get, get it. Fast pass and it's like still waiting. I swear to, to God, you degree. have to have like a plastic bag to pee in while you're fucking waiting yeah, in those lines. It's fucking silly. What's funny is like on the silver bullet, they actually had something on the TV, which is probably clever, but also conniving in some degree. <laughs> conniving? Yeah, because it was like making chicken wings and like deep frying them and oh. showing people eating that stuff on a TV while you were in line. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And they were showing people drinking stuff, and mm. it's like that is. Imagine if you were at a concert. Yeah. And while you were watching a concert, fucking McDonald's ad popped on, and some dude was eating a burger. You'd been there for eleven hours. You'd be like, <laughs> "This is evil." And that's I'm like the beginning of now. a movie when they show you like the popcorn and the Coca Cola. Yes. Yes. and all that shit, except that would be running the entire time on the side screen yeah. while the movie was <laughs> exactly. going. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like a very, like, wow, no, we're definitely in a California theme park. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're, they're, Nick, they're squeezing any know. little bit out. Can, we, can we talk about the moral dilemma of that? Log rides? Are no, no, long. like <laughs> laughing at autism. If you laugh on, at an autist, on one hand, you watch your back, because you may be drowning <laughs> in a fucking water, and they'll be knocking going, log Jeff. ride. Yeah, who, log ride! Who's, 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 who's the next like, target, Chris? Is it evil? Bully? Is it evil to laugh at Autistic humor. No, the thing is, like, uh, it, it's not fair. Look, if you're it's laughing not... at a person, no, I'm like, that's the, the thing. I'm not okay. like you're God, a fucking loser. No. I'm laughing at the behavior. God, it's God, God, God designed weird. us to laugh at stuff like it's that. The, <laughs> that's no. what I've always said. If an autistic, per, if a regular person it. said some some of the stuff that an autistic person said, it would still be funny. Yeah, exactly. I'm laughing because it's funny. It's the yeah. comedy of the delivery. Like when a bear is about to be captured, it's like, oh no, Joe, about to be captured, and then he gets captured. You can't write that. Nobody fucking write that. Yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's perfect. Another it, reason is because I actually genuinely enjoyed autistic shit as a I kid. I love it. I grew up I, enjoying I don't, I'm not, yeah, Sonic and the Nostalgia home. Critic. I'm not I'm against, on the spectrum I for sure. You guys I'm, just hate I'm 100% autistic if you look at the shit I'm into. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I also appreciate it in some next level where I could never make anything on this level. This is like an art form that you can't reach unless you, you have, have like, a certain you mindset. Like you legitimately reality. can't you think can't of do the it. things they think of. You can't do it. Even Nostalgia Critic tries and he still can't do it. He can kind of do it. He can't play the part. He's I don't got think nothing. he's quite as bad as some he, of the He's not would... fully autistic. He's he's on the spectrum. He's but... on the spectrum, but he, he still he's... files like W nines and shit. He's not like dysfunctional. Yeah. He files he's W nines, but he but he has his big lipped alligator memes. <laughs> What the fuck is that That's going? A what? Reference. What the fuck it's is a big lipped alligator, alligator meme? It's a big lipped alligator moment, Zach. Yeah. What the fuck is that? How mean? do you not know what that is? I don't. I don't know. That is. That's important. <laughs> That's important in NC history. Was it? And then saw the. It's like a bat credit card. The bat credit. A bat credit card. Bat nipples. I remember that. Did it say big lipped crocodile? No. So do you remember the movie? I think it's Fern Gully. Was yeah. it Fern Gully? Yeah. Fern Gully. There's a part where a big lipped alligator just walks out of the trees and starts singing and then leaves. He's like, it's a big lipped alligator moment. Chris, yeah. you know what would be cool is if we say in the fucking I thought you were about to say you are autistic. You are autistic. <laughs> Chris, listen, you are autistic. Would, would you want to say I'm a girl reviewer on the internet? Yeah. I'm a girl reviewer on the internet. I fucking love that, man. <laughs> Everybody go when well, you have the chance. Look up a uh, girl reviewer, a uh, guy reviewer on the internet song, and then look up guy beheaded live on television. Look up ISIS guy fucking hit with F sixteen. <laughs> what's an F sixteen? <laughs> Jeff, what's the worst thing we've shown you? <laughs> I mean, I, I still remember you talking about maybe player maybe it's not cries the... on fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I want to know. All right, that was up there. What's the most annoying thing we've shown you? Something that, you that stuck with me. I think you pulled up. It wasn't so much the video, but your rea your reaction to it. it was like you you pulled up a guy. I think he got his head chainsawed off, and then they used it as a soccer ball, and you laughed at what it. The what I did? <laughs> what? <laughs> when was this? This sounds this like a Zach like video. Years ago. No, I did I not find that. Zach sends us these. I don't even remember this video. Send it to you on your phone. You're a liar. You made it to a church. You fucking. No, that is. You made that up. I don't think I did. No, that's Maybe real. I, 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 I think what happened, I think you're getting that from a story that Stamper said where you and I were watching a video. I think that's what happened. I don't I think I, I don't know if I saw the actual video, but I just remember you talking about this. I don't fucking remember this. <laughs> right, yeah, I think mind. Stamper was complaining because we were watching a video of a guy. You were like, look at this. We all had that office together. You were like, look at this. And it was like, a <laughs> kicking a fucking human head around. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was 
was in the sleep cabin office. Stanford Stanford was like, man, I can't even look at that. <laughs> I can't either. He was like watching porn gifts on his computer while he was looking. He's like, man, I can't look at that. I shit, told, man. Look, I can look at gore and I can like, you know, be fine with it, but I don't even remember the. Would, I don't think we were laughing yet, but he was like, man, that's sick, man. I'm gonna fucking. Be <laughs> yeah, Zach's yeah, been on this it. kick where he's been that texting pictures of this big fat naked guy's nuts to us. <laughs> yeah, I sent it. He fucking. He's been embedding yeah, it man, into messages. Fucking, it's just like, hey, you going to the gym today? Yeah, see you there. And then he follows it up with like this big face. Wait, like the you. shot is like from his he's scrotum got... up. Wait, so you're like looking at this guy, and you can like see his barely half of his face over the belly. And then he like embedded it in like a news article too. Oh, yeah, because I sent it a couple times and they kept they stopped falling for it. And they then found I out. and then I embedded it. Then like we a, started then blocking it. <laughs> Have you ever seen the picture of the old man with purple pants pissing into his own mouth? <laughs> no. no. That's a really funny picture. Wait, hold on. Okay. Did you just All randomly right. text All that right. to people? I used to. That's what it reminded Zach, me of. Zach, so I remember. Here's a, here's oh, a, like, God, a, he's going to show you. Here's a Jim group chat. <laughs> And that's the actual image. I, I, kept, I, kept, I kept sending it. And then eventually I said this one. And they were like, I was like, holy shit, did you guys check the I was like, I was like, holy shit, did you guys check the news today? And I said, I said that. Oh, God. I just love his expression. He's just like. And you know what? You're sitting there. You wake up first thing in the morning, ready to go to the gym. Oh, fucking idiot. And then you fucking see that. God damn it. He looks it. like a fucking bus driver. Leave him alone. Yes, yeah, they see it again. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's I can't find the purple pants, man. Zach, that's what's funny about you. Perfect like, way to ruin you your morning. Like, you have like heated discussions. You well, you used to have like heated discussions Let's on stop Twitter. That shit. I... And then you would just post naked men. Like, naked <laughs> a lot men. of naked old naked men over the years. Slashing each other's yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fat, yeah. fat old naked guys sucking each other's cock is the weirdest thing to me. <laughs> it, <it's> that the, <laughs> is weird. You're right. It's the one Seriously, way. No, seriously here's, no, here's why it's weird. Even when you're 80 years old, you must look at the mirror and go, oh, I'm old. I'm like, I'm fat and old. You don't, yeah. you don't ever not think that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you'd still think, you'd still be judging you as if you're 20 years old. So those guys still are, they know they're sucking other fat old man dicks. They're yeah. not like, they're not like, oh, this is amazing, young, delicious cop. The older you get, the less you care. It's yeah. probably less, you probably care less, but you still know it when you look at it. The only thing going through my head when you say it is they probably look like a weird fleshy version of a yin yang symbol. <laughs> Just because it, it's like a big ball of flesh. Oh, it's fucking bad. Ripley, oh, it's big, bad. Old man sweaty, sucking fucking each other. Old man sucking cock? What the hell? I, I've seen, like, when someone was to do that, they would take, like, smelling salts if, if push came to shove. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what do you mean smelling what? salts? Like, sometimes, like, if something's really bad, <laughs> yeah. they'll, like, sniff something in order Are to do it. Are you saying fat old guys sniff salt before they suck each other's <laughs> I'm saying... Like, he wouldn't normally do it. He's like, oh, this is this is kind yeah, of gross. Like, and then he takes like a whip and he's like, all right, give me that yummy yeah. wiener. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because the smell is too much. You guys are silly. Jeff, you came all the way out to the West Coast for this. Yeah. Send smelling salts. Yeah, I know. Guys, here's the group smelling salts. That'll be the setup. You send smelling salts and then you start throwing the grandpa decks. I posted that picture in the chat at Brandon, who's also one of our guys. He was like, dude, talk to Vic and They don't like it when you you said that stuff. And I was like, I'm going to say it twice as much. You should have said that. You said it like four sets. Brandon's really straight cut. Yeah, he was like, hey, you know, I like that. I think it's funny, but I don't think they like it very much. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Editor, enunciate oh this God. part. <laughs> Jeff, you said you had a story. Yeah. But I know we've been like Jeff, fucking screaming and ranting. Story. All right, Je Jeff. You oh, it's sorry, my I'm turn. Like, All right. Tickles your belly. Tell to, me a story, Jeff. It's my Jeff. turn to shine. Sorry, yeah. sorry. We were like. Spotlight's on me. Going uh, crazy. We, all, we were bored last night. And, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> one thing led to another. We started kissing and touching. Yeah, lots of men. I just started gaping. I don't know. It was weird. Started gaping onto a camera. Close your eyes. It feels like a I don't want to Never mind. Never mind. Tell me your story. It's we were we... bored. Who? Myself and Reese. Right. Who's Reese? Describe this guy in five words or less. A very <laughs> Aryan. A, a, a very hey, handsome British man. Okay. <laughs> You're right throwing me off here. We went to a strip club. We oh, were what? Wow. <laughs> Last night? Yes. Damn. Are you, I, I did you actually hear about this earlier? You, I, didn't, you I didn't hear anything about it. I heard this. you say it. Yeah, not, yeah, not yeah. Heard about it. You I got someone like, else to gape. I left at like 10 o'clock. <laughs> when the fuck did you guys Midnight. go? Midnight. Oh, okay. It was a full it, it moon. A, yeah, it was a full moon. <laughs> yeah. We were bored and we looked at, we Googled strip, I Googled best strip clubs in Burbank. <laughs> you yelped strip clubs? Yeah. By the way, for the reference, Burbank is full of like retired people. So you're not going to find anything. <laughs> oh, no, that I changed it to Glendale and it wasn't any better. It was like four stars out of five. 
be like hot, but they had sweaty butts. Yeah. So I go in. We, can we find this place? So we go in, and um, the first thing was they don't have alcohol. Yeah. What? Yeah. Which I wasn't aware of. Wait, really? <clears throat> well, it, I don't know if that's all West Coast, but Seattle was the same. It's dry bar. I mean, I went to a strip club in Missouri, and they had alcohol. Well, wait, was there contact here? Yeah. See, so yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Is sometimes that's if they have contact, well, then sense. they don't have alcohol. And some other places they'll serve alcohol, but then there's like a no contact rule. All, all I saw contact, was the star alcohol. rating and the name. I didn't know. Was it four I didn't star? know if it was like all nude or not. But it was. Yeah. Yep. So we go in, and then they're like, "Well, you would like, would you, what drink would you like?" I'm like, "I don't want anything," because <laughs> it was like, "No, there's a menu." Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was water, Red Bull, and like O'Doul's, like yeah. a non-alcoholic beer. Yeah. So yeah. We, we both got a fucking water. We were sitting there, lame assholes, just like <laughs> sipping more water <laughs> under these black Your lights. Ten dollar water. Sipping yeah. V eight. Watching these strippers. Oh my god. Take you were two like super white dudes. Yes. Sipping water in an Armenian yes. club. Yes. Cool, Jeff. Cool. So these girls. So these girls came out. And the first thing they're like, they're like, oh, it's like it's been a while since we haven't seen a, like a like a, a not fat Arme like like there's basically like two like like we used to like fat Armenians in here or something like that. Wow. <laughs> she said that to us, and then oh. then she's like, oh. she's like, you guys really should even be here. There's like better strip clubs down the street. <laughs> Did they really? Yes. Wow. Oh my god. Yes. The so money it, isn't even worth it at that. So point. we're sitting there, and then and each one that comes over, like it immediately start like she they're not really sweet talking us. They're immediately just start shit talking all the other girls. Whoa. Like the one white girl, she's like, you see that? See that bitch over there? She's so old. She's an old bitch. <laughs> Where are other strippers or yeah, like that's the fun. employees? <laughs> all their strippers. Like, and most of them are just sitting around either smoking or listening to music. They're not even, nobody's on dancing on the fucking pole. That's hilarious. <laughs> Nothing's even happening. We're sitting you, you there like funny, assholes. You know what's funny about this? This is like their own like Armenian strip club drag racing version. They like call out yeah. the other ones so nobody yeah. goes to them. So we're know, sitting there. They don't give a, is. they don't give a fuck. Sounds and like then, an alien. And then, yeah, they're like, yeah, see that bitch? You know, I, I'm going to fight her in the bathroom later. I'm just like, is this, what? Is, yes. Is a fighter? You yeah. Said? Yeah. Did they're they're, they're, they're acting super violent. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you're making me nervous. She's like, oh, I, but I'm nice to, I'm nice to men though. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. All right. I'm just horrible. So to half yeah, of people I on the earth murder every woman, <laughs> you know, they, they, you know, they're doing their little small talk thing that they're, they're in, they're in disingenuous small talk and yeah. going over like the, the rules and the lap dances and the VIP room and the, <laughs> first of all, she's yeah, she leans in, she's like, listen, some of these girls fuck for money. <laughs> she's like, I don't do that. I have some self-respect, but but? If you slip me a thousand dollars, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh what? God. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <sighs> all right. I'm like, all right. This is more hardcore than I was. I'm not. I was. I'm a little <laughs> over my head here. <laughs> and then, and so it just keeps going. And then, then she's like, listen, like, you know, there's no alcohol here, but if you really want some, I can hook you up. And I'm like, well, I don't know. At this point, I was a little shaken. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. She's like, just go in the bathroom. There's a guy in the bathroom. He's selling like the little shots for ten dollars a piece. Just go. <laughs> just go. Just have what some the hooks. fuck is yeah, going yeah. on? I don't know. Yeah. She's telling me like the guy. There's a guy in the bathroom that sells alcohol illegally. This is like a scene from The Crow or no, something. Yeah. It feels like a video <laughs> game where an NPC would hang out. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, she, then, then she hands. You have ten G. Then, then, ha yeah. then she hands me her cup of like Cabernet wine or something. She's like, hey, you can have that. I'm just like, I don't want this. <laughs> uh, and then they loosen you up so you drop that grand. And then she starts pushing coke on me. And I feel so lame for. Christ. I'm just like, I don't want coke. Yeah. Are you sure? But are you sure, baby? You know, it's fun. You can. Why don't you want coke? It's it's good. I'm freak. I'm just. Is this all real? <laughs> yes. Is that a strip club? Yes. Poor Jeff. Where was other guy in all this? One girl was bought, was talking to him. Then when the girl was talking to That's me, what you guys I'm gonna throw Reese under the bus here. But this girl was spending like 20 plus minutes talking to him about his whole backstory <laughs> and his life. Yeah. And then she's like, "Hey, you want? Would you like a dance? Like, how we go do a dance?" And he's just like, "No, no, 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 no. I don't want to spend any money." And she just. <gasps> She got so like yeah. frowned, turned yeah. back, she walked away, uh. sat down at the table on the other side of the stripper uh. pole, put headphones on. <laughs> Why didn't he go to a strip club if he didn't want to dance? He said he was gonna get a lap dance. Why did he fucking go if he wasn't gonna do it? He, I don't know. He needed a new. But then he ended up getting one because he said some girl pressured him into it. That's what their job is. That, <laughs> that is, is literally, literally their only job. Yeah, hey, in their defense, you guys went into a strip joint. That's what they do there. Yeah, see, it's like taking your car uh, to mechanics and going, no, I don't want it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and this is 
mean, I'm gonna. Nice no, way to chat a little bit. Get the fuck out, dude. Can um, you imagine? Um, yeah, try doing that at any I, restaurant. Just I, sitting down and then being like, all right, what'd you like? Oh I don't want anything. I'm just gonna sit here. I've been no, to a strip And I'm gonna sound like a bastard. Well, I just wanna be like a bastard real fast. I'm gonna join Chris from earlier in the podcast disparaging overweight people, but <laughs> everyone, everyone, I've never seen so many more, like, really fat strippers in my life. <laughs> really? Yeah. Some they were really big. Wait, you looked up best strip club and you got this? <sighs> Not, there was nothing over like three stars. Everything oh. was like three... <laughs> Everything was like three stars. First of all, who is the one putting their their public Google name on strip club reviews in the first place? That's already fucking. <laughs> That's true too. Those are already <laughs> questions. Can people. I say that too? All my, like all, and shit reviewing it. All Yelp strip club reviews are all like, this place is amazing, and it's, it's like, don't fucking come here ever. Yeah. It's the worst. You know, it's all. I want to yeah, like, know who the super reviewers are for yeah. strip clubs. No help. The fat Armenians who come in regularly. Yeah. So apparently the girl is like, she's like, she's like, yeah, she's like, it's just a bunch of rich Armenians come in and spend yeah. a lot of money. They just want their dick sucked yeah. or something, and she's so like, "Yeah, you guys don't." Dollars. Like, yeah, yeah. She's like, "You guys don't even belong here. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't for you." You know, that is one thing to note is yeah. that as much as, especially if you go to a strip club, mm -hmm. that the Armenian mafia is like a big thing. This is what I keep is hearing. It? So they they that? own a lot of property, they own a lot of business, and they are not to be fucked. It's with. It's funny because yeah, because okay, so when we, all this was over with, and we were disgusted, and we left, <laughs> we left within like half an hour or something, and we got an Uber. This night, this guy. And a white Lexus, and we get in, and I, I'm assuming it's an Armenian. Yeah, and <laughs> we, he's, you know, we, somehow we, we get the, the topic of the whole traffic, the crazy Armenians and the traffic thing yeah. come up, and I, I just very uh, indignantly, I'm just like, or insensitively, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that, I wasn't that about that whole Armenian genocide thing, uh, just like, <laughs> yeah, just like that whole thing of the genocide. <laughs> And he's like, oh, my friend, you know, he's kind of talks like Swain. He's yeah. like, oh, my friend, do you know about that? Do you like to learn? Would you like a history lesson? Would <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you like a history lesson, my friends? And oh, I want to like, imagine Swain doing that. And now. Reese is so nice. He's like, oh, of course. I love learning. <laughs> yeah. well, let's let's learn together. And so he, he goes through the entire fucking history of the Armenian genocide. And once I kind of picked up he was Armenian and knew every fucking thing about yeah. this thing, I, I quickly about faced and became more respectful <laughs> yeah. of the whole thing. But he was like, yeah, yeah. He was like, and do you know what the word Caucasian? And I'm like, oh, well, yeah. He's like, do you know where it came from? And apparently it's the Caucasian mountains or something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like and then, oh. I'm not kidding. Dude, we got oh. the whole thing. The car, <laughs> I was like, the, the car stopped in front of our house. <laughs> yeah. He just kept going. Yeah. We couldn't even open the doors. Like, he just. No, he had it locked. He, he had it auto locked from <laughs> well, his side. He's like, we, by the way, we're going drag racing. Yeah. It was all. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he put his seatbelt on. Oh, yeah. His oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just forget this. What do you want to talk about? Last night, before Jeff went on his adventure to uh, that yeah. three-star strip joint. Yeah, yeah. Fucking pervert. Got offered coke and a blowjob <laughs> and okay. maybe a little more. I had a good shit. Anyways, <laughs> continue. Uh, funnily enough, uh, we're watching videos of whales exploding. Mm. Uh, mm. That just seems like the perfect migration, though. You know, you're watching whales explode one minute, next Don't thing you know, you're in a strip it, club. Don't say Is it. Is that no. really where that changed? Like, you left after that? Jeff just got so horny It was just the animal. same night. It was, <laughs> you got so <laughs> horny <laughs> watching I, I, don't, uh, I want a whale to explode all over my car. Yeah. 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 Better all go to a fat fishy, ass strip club. Fishy guts all over <laughs> my way. Explode on me, baby. Those are scary because you can literally poke them and blow up. No, right? I'm just Damn, saying Chris, people die by that, right? Yeah. People have died by trying to like save beach whales or get rid of yeah, beach whales. My entire it, family at home did. That's really sad. Him and his 17 little it's brothers kind of all died. That's actually what O'Neill means in old school Irish. What, what do they Covered call in whale guts. <laughs> covered in whale guts. That's yeah. right. Was your family crest like on exploded? <laughs> but could you whale? imagine the obituary yeah. on that? Like so and so, Jeff Williamson, O'Neill the third. Dies well, it's like because when, he fucking well, got exploded with whale guts. Yeah, whale. An Irish like the, name is Jeff Williamson O'Neill the third. I was trying not to be racist. It's okay, like the that's fair. the wind Thank pressure. You for Sean Sean, Sean O'Connor. O'Reilly, Connor o McGregor, O'Neill, McGregor. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a pressure washer when you're like washing a car. That like build up and that impact off, of initially dude. doing it, yeah, it can tear your skin off. And like I was like <laughs> next to my foot as a kid, thinking what would happen if I put on my foot. Ow! I didn't know because the rocks were fucking shooting out like yeah. I was th uh, like ten feet in the air. You're just, I'm just giggling. Like, I wonder what would happen if I sprayed yeah. my foot. I wonder what happened. And my dad like grabbed it. I wonder what would happen if I sprayed my foot. My dad like grabbed it. 
And he's like, you want to know what happens if you sprayed yourself? And he went over to a tree with full bark. He went, <laughs> and shot he knocked off down the, the tree. No, the tree he shot off like half the bark <laughs> and left like a white a spot. Oh, yeah, that's it was scary. a yeah. giant Sakai tree. And he tree. said, like, yeah. <laughs> he said this thing could literally burn a hole through your skin if you had it yeah. put there for a, a few seconds. I was terrified after that because I was yeah. just fucking around in, in the rocks. Yeah, they used and then when to, he sprayed, like, wash decks off. Yeah, when he knocked sure, right? raw, bar raw bark off a tree, I'm like, you scare a child into not doing something stupid. Yeah, my dad had he had a way of fucking. That's why you're still. Still with us, me. Corey. Your yeah. dad scared yeah. you at every point. There was this one time when I was building a house, <laughs> and he was using <laughs> wait, 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 my own. Wait, 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 I missed this. Yeah. I uh, missed you this. Will you help your dad? I was going to have my dad go. build a house because I, I, I was about like, to do like the middle of the woods. As a fourteen-year-old kid, I had mastered <laughs> building a house. The arts of doing literally everything. Right. So that's what my dad made me do. <laughs> Got it. And he had hot tar. Uh huh. And, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> well, hold on. He had tar. He had tar because he was like, we were building like the lower foundation of like a house in the middle of like the the woods because he wanted to. He just bought like five acres and he wanted to build a house, oh, so he yeah. was building the the basement foundation and he needed like tar to hold certain things in place. Mm -hmm. So we had hot tar mm. and we got tar on ourselves. <laughs> we had it on our skin. And but you know How like did you get tar yourself because we were we were Splashing doing around yeah, no like, like we were like doing. <laughs> Stuff. And like you know, you can just accidentally get tar just from painting. You get paint on yourself. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we got tar uh, on ourselves. Then you rolled around some feathers. And my no, no. And my my dad came out and he's like, oh, well that's never coming off. You have to get your skin removed now. <laughs> and me and my sister were freaking out. And then he just started laughing. He's like, oh, I'm just joking. He's like, that'll come off with certain adhesives. It's gonna hurt, but it comes off. He does that shit all the time. He just it, trial by fire. It's like, oh, if you're doing something trial wrong, trial by tar. Yeah, he'll show. Your dad set you up. He was like, I want them to cover them. Himself in tar, so I yeah. can terrorize so we're them. Playing yeah. with tar and burning inside. It's like, oh, like, so you got to remove your skin now, like Silence of the Lambs. And, but like, this... hey, son, go jump in that pile of mud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget what the tangent was to get into this, but you say somebody farted a, a tar bubble or something. No, not what did I say before this? So you're building a stupid house in the woods. No, we're using water. I was talking about water pressure. So, oh yeah. Here. So the water pressure is like the fucking the stomach when it explodes. It's like yeah. the same thing. That amount of pressure and air would blow your fucking face your skin of your face off yeah because yeah. when you're that I mean, close it's like that's why they have to fucking do this like yeah like i don't know if it'll like lighting a firecracker off from a foot away. I, I don't think there'd be I mean, like a shock i don't think there'd be a shock wave of air pressure coming from a blow i think it's corpse. more the pressure uh, of the water, i don't like, know those away. intestines that shot across in the that one video literally like smashed shit. against Everything, a wall like 20 feet away maybe rupture your face and your body if you weren't wearing like a fucking but it made me think what is the worst what do you think some of the worst ways people fucking died were like i just feel like it's just there's so many ridiculous things that could happen that that would be the end of you. There was yeah, you can smash really easily. Man. There's a similar yeah. idea. There's a similar idea, but I said so there was a video of a people were stuck in traffic and there's a tanker explosion. Yeah, and then the explosion didn't get anywhere near the people in the, like waiting outside their cars. But there was like some kind of heat wave that traveled out from the explosion yeah. and hit everybody. And what they didn't realize is that heat wave immediately destroyed like their, oh their layer God. of their skin. Jesus. Yeah, it was killed instantly. But they didn't realize it. So it like fucking. It felt like a like it felt like a like a like a like yeah. a like a but like their sunburn. clothes like melted to their skin no and shit? no it's like it's almost like it just penetrated their it's skin killed it killed their the skin, skin cells it's just like yeah. a light ray that so they just look like ghouls from fucking after fallout? like a few hours it looked like they just had a like a sunburn Big. yeah but then their skin started sloughing off like it was dead <laughs> dude one of the most <laughs> fucked up weird surreal videos I've ever seen yeah. I, I is really... this the two guys in the vape shop no 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 okay. no no, no. You've <laughs> seen I want to hear that now you see this one that sounds like I I pretty much weed off for the dead videos and make them tell me hurt after a while. Yeah. I, I watch every like yeah. every like four months. I'm watching two. Like okay, I get it. But one <laughs> of them, one of them was we had in California a bunch of fires like six months ago. I think something like yeah. that. Yeah, no, I know this video. And there's a guy who's just like. He's on a little camcorder, the, the fires have passed, he's like, I tried to warn these people, oh, and he yeah. takes his little camcorder out, and he points at a big black mass on the ground, he goes, that used to be a dog. Yeah. And it's like a big black lump, oh, and then, God. Corey, it's fucking crazy. Oh, my and God. And then he walks over to a burnt out car, and he yeah. goes, I tried to warn these people, and Ugh. he looks in the car, and I'm not yeah. fucking kidding, it is a skeleton in a car seat <laughs> with its mouth open. A black skeleton. <laughs> like yeah. a fucking movie prop. Yeah. It's a black skeleton, sure. and it still has a shirt, its mouth is, it's just a yeah. skull, it's a skull and on a body. Says, and he goes, and he casually walks up and he goes, I tried to warn him, I, but his wife was doing makeup or something. Like, yeah. I, no, he <laughs> says he says it really fucked up. He's oh, like, dude. I told her to stop, but she said she needed to get her makeup done. Now she's paid the price. Yeah, now she's paid oh, the God. price. And he walks oh, up to the other thing and he's like, looking at these, he looks at, 
anyway, he's in shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in no, shock. That's, that's an in shock that's, moment. Yeah. Absolutely. But he's I mean, so calm. But he's just like, I tried. To that's his him. neighborhood. Can you imagine walking yeah. through your neighborhood yeah. and having it look like See that? See your fucking yeah. neighbor as a little. It yeah. looks I, like an artwork, like a scary art book. Like yeah. I was gonna say, I, like on 9/11, uh, my friend Ben was telling me that his roommate, when he got back to his apartment, because they were just like two buildings over, and he he went into his apartment, and his friend was on like they don't have a balcony, but he was outside the window. The window was wide open, and he was like hanging like hanging over. He wasn't going to jump out, but he was just like hanging over watching it or whatever. I you were say he's a skeleton. He was. No, no, no. Was like, but when he came back <laughs> in. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a skeleton. He came back in and he's like covered in dust and he walked right up to bed and he just starts wiping off with like his shoulders and his arms and he goes, hey, dead people. Oh my ah. god. Like, but no, but that's what I mean. Like super calm. That's shock, yeah. Like total shock. Like you just don't even fucking know. But I was going to say uh, the thing about the skeleton, that reminds me of like Terminator. <laughs> yeah. You, when you see it, it, it it's kind of cartoonish. It is like Sarah like Connor grabbing onto the fence while yeah. it was a skeleton. It was that fucking It, looked, it seems cartoonish. It looks less but believable than, yeah. t- than Terminator. Like, it, looked like, it looked like a bad movie prop. Yeah. <laughs> like a shitty movie it did. prop. You'd be like, oh, it's a B movie. That It's like when you, you see buy, like, like food prepared for It movie. looks like a, its mouth was open too. When you see food oh. prepared for movies, they have to like do all these tricks to make Make it look like nice food on camera, yeah. But it's not. But it's like the same thing. Like yeah. a real skeleton doesn't look very impressive. It looks like a shitty fake plastic fucking toy skeleton. Yeah. What's the vape store? Uh, it might not have been a vape store. I saw a video where these two guys were just standing at a counter in what looked like a vape store. Okay. But he's like, he's holding a lighter up to his mouth, doing the. But then, within one second, fire just covers both of their bodies and explodes. What? And they all just like crumple inward, and then the camera just cuts what out. What the fuck? So it looks was it real. <laughs> yeah, it was. They're dead. Like it was real. Uh, gotta, there, there was an invisible. Later. There was an invisible, non-smelly gas in the air. Oh, Chris, yeah. you, that topic made me think of another <gasps> thing. That me and like when me and Dave found the funniest thing. Two like one. It's it's not funny in the America's context. America's funniest home videos. Yeah. Two guys explode in vapes. No, no, <laughs> it's not funny in that context. It's yeah. funny in the sense of like how fucking stupid people can be. Yeah. Uh, but it's like some, some of the funniest videos you can watch is uh, babies falling over and the reaction of <laughs> yeah. them fucking immediately screaming <laughs> bloody murder when they fall in like slightly over. Like, I just like just how confused they are down. at first and then they go yeah, like just fucking like a crazy violent about scream it. Yeah. It cuts away. That's the, nothing can beat that. That's the funniest fucking thing ever. And also. So so next to that is people who fucking light their shirts on fire and freak out after. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's they, like, what they, are you doing, they, dummy? They, they're like, they're sitting there with their friends and they're just like, they just light their shirt on fire. And then they're like, <laughs> and they're, like they're fucking screaming and freaking out. Like they don't realize they're those, they just lit themselves on fire. They're those whole compilations of those people at parties who like light their shots on fire. Yes. And then they fucking yes. like try to shake them. Yes. And then like they're like breathing flames and like yeah. slipping on the ground. They knock <laughs> bottles over and the whole kitchen's like if on fucking fire. You're really drinking <laughs> fire, you fucking. Yeah. Deserve that like fire, drinking fire and it's like pouring on the side of them and catching yeah. their no, but like, on the you ever see when they're like screaming though? They're like screaming for help, but every time they scream, it's just a big blast of fire shoots out of their mouth. Those fucking people, freaky, those dude. people deserve to be the fucking turned up black tarred skeletons. I mean, who oh do fucking deserve that? Well, that's fucked up <laughs> because if you're gonna sit there and consciously think, you know what, if I poured lighter fluid on myself in a bathtub yeah. and then light myself on fire and then start slipping and get fucking concussion and then die afterwards. <laughs> I think that's my own fault because yeah. that's what they were doing. They were just sitting there lighting themselves on fire I, and doing this, and then they were like, "Oh, I do, they were throwing water on it, which just yeah. increased the fire outcome." My greatest fear is other people's stupidity because, like, they could just oh, light yeah. you on fire. Yes. And oh, it's yeah. like, thanks. Well, I mean, that happens when you're driving every day. Yeah. I mean, like, th- yeah. you see people doing the stupidest shit on the fucking road. You could road. be so careful your whole life. Your and whole a, life. A complete moron just yep. ruins your life and kills your family. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. A, d- a drunk driver just like totally fucking taking everyone out. That like. Um, um, I almost died by a drunk driver because my uh, mom managed to save us. It's like a fucking scene from a movie. My mom managed to save us at the last second, and then this fucking car careened with the careened. Is that the word? Yes. Yeah. This car careened with the other car, fucking smashed it. So it was like a three foot car. Wait, what was this? Where, what, what, what this is when I was like really small, but I was still able to consciously see things. <laughs> I, I, can, I can still visually consciously. It's like a trial of mine. It's like taking it. Uh, you can. It's something you never forget because. It's like so. It's so fucking. Insane. You're making it seem like you're a sentient creature. Well, my my exactly. mom was pulling me away, and I was looking at it, and the fucking car smashed like a fucking. What do you call those things that you play? Like, dude. Oh, an accordion. Oh, accordion. Yeah, it smashed like a fucking accordion, and then the car like spun off to the side and flipped over. It Corey, was did you ever see that insane. fucked up video where the guy gets the piano dropped in his head and he has a uh, piano teeth? <laughs> 
fucking hard. I was gonna say I, I thought he was talking I'm about that joking. movie with uh, Bruce I'm Willis where you can't break him. And the fucking Unbruceable. dude who hit my mom's car died obviously because he that, fucking, that guy died. Yeah, because he smashed into. You saw it. a guy die when you were a fucking boy. I mean, world? I didn't know he died. I found out later that my I mom. I saw. He thought died. he was just an accordion man. You know, in the Passion of the Christ. I know it was. Car smashed in front of me, and I'm just like, whoa. And I never forgot that image. You know, movies like Passion of the Christ, like I can't watch that shit. It'll just it'll just show like like a bunch of people covered in blood like like a vision or something yeah I saw something like that as a young child too where we were driving down the main road like a minute from my house in Ireland and I looked out the window as like a five-year-old and I just see like another five-year-old kid that looked just like me with his family covered in blood because they just smashed into something on the side of the road the but wait, you saw an alternate dimension version of yourself the kid looked like, like it was a kid my age he looked kind of like me had That's blonde weird. hair that is nightmare fuel no yeah that, that was scary <laughs> But <laughs> maybe, maybe they, they all ghosts. lived. They all lived. Oh, so. they did. Yeah, but they were all covered in blood. Like I don't know what the fuck happened. It was I don't know. Weird. This sounds like the trailer for uh, the sequel to Get Out. What was that movie? Us. Get in. No. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Come back. Come back, please. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Don't go away. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I just hope nobody like broke their back trying to suck their own dick and their parents walked in on them. You know, like they died. In That's the probably happened at least once. At once. I once. So much. Every you single choked. dumb idea you could possibly think of has probably Absolutely. happened. Yeah, it's called the Darwin Awards, right? They give you the Darwin Award if you fucking die the dumbest yeah. way. That's really mean. Like, not only do you die and your family has to People deal with it. Yeah, you yeah. Have w so fucking there mean. Used yeah. be, there used to be the show on Netflix, and uh, I remember watching it, obviously, because it was like the title was fucking insane. It was like 1001 Ways. I remember that. That's, that's you know what? Sucked. Fuck that. Yeah. I don't think that's bad. In fact, I think we should get fucking video footage of that type of shit. You know why? Mm. To fucking remind people how fragile and how stupid we can be to fucking show the stupid deaths. Show people there's fucking doing dumb shit. Yeah, Just yeah, to yeah. remind yeah. you <laughs> not to do yeah. that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Man, there's this one website I used to go on just because I was just, like, you know, oh. morbidly curious. I got desensitized at a very I, I hate age. this kind of shit. Like, I never look at this stuff. And then whenever I see it, it stays in my head for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like, I, like I've never forgotten 90% of the shit that I've Dude. seen that's fucking just traumatically horrible nonsense. Like, Absolutely. It's, it's like animal abuse is like the one thing. I yeah. can't watch that. that I that refuse. Sucks. Yeah, and, I can't. And I actually, like, I, I removed someone. I blocked someone. I don't know if I said this on a podcast already, but, like, one video I remember vividly was this little, like, polyamor, like, poodle white. It's like one of those white dogs with really, like, heavy fur and stuff. I don't know if it was in Russia or some fucking place, but there was lots of snow around okay. and there was these like shitty kids in like this shitty area where it looked like nobody fucking lived, where they had a dog and like the dog was scared shitless of them and they had like tied a rope around its neck. And they lit the dog on fire and let it go with the rope. What? They chased after it. The camera went, they were like laughing and giggling and the camera was shaking around and stuff. And the most fucked up part is there's snow everywhere. Yeah. It could just fucking just roll run. around. Yeah. It could trip over a rock and accidentally right. fall. But it but doesn't know. So it no, just keeps it running. It just runs around and, uh. rah, 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 and then it like, it fucking careens into a door and breaks its neck. <laughs> and the dog runs into it. It's still like twitchy, but it's still dying. It's like, oh, oh. It sounds like a toy yeah. that's like slowly dying. And yeah. I, at that point, I stopped watching it. And because the person told me, they sent me this video. And before I started, I'm like, this sound, this looks fucked up. I'm like, there better be a happy ending <laughs> What did ending they say? This. I said, there better be a happy ending to this. Or this what the was their preference? Like, hey, check out this funny video, lol cry emoji. No, he sent the video. He's like, this is sad. And I'm, oh, like, okay. I'm like, uh, there better be a happy ending at the end of this video. <laughs> or I'm we're done talking. This is the end of a conversation. Like, permanently. <laughs> like, never send me anything ever. Yeah. And after the video was done, I'm like, what happened at the end? He's like, the end was he died. And I'm like, all right, see you later. And I removed him. And I never asked him again after that. That was like a surefire way to get your fucking ass gone. I don't get why people do that. It's horrible. There's always people on, uh, well, when I used to be on Facebook, there would be like normal girls I used to know living in Ireland that are my age and they'll just post like animals getting beat up and they're like, isn't this terrible? It's like, yeah. why the why fuck would I want to see this? this? Seen, you fucking dope. I, I, I've get seen, killed. <laughs> I've seen stuff on Twitter with like Japanese people like taking their dog and slamming it against the fucking wall and I'm like, this is horrible. Yeah, they always yeah. do it but to like shock it. you. It's like, I I know it's bad. That's no, why yeah. I don't watch Sometimes it. it's a mixed bag. They do it either to like bring aware to animal abuse, which is fucked up to say, like use no, a but... video that existed already to like bring awareness <sighs> to animal abuse. Or they try to make the video popular so more people see it, yeah. and then those people get taken down. But see, sometimes I think those two motives get mixed because But I more... don't follow 
artist. I understand. I'm just saying the more <laughs> popular rolling of animals and people. The more mm-hmm. popular it is, just, the more eyes see it, and therefore, hopefully, more yes. people will be aware of the problem. Yeah, but but, like, I, but you know when their motives are to fucking just get. Yeah. Beat. So when I follow artists who do that kind of stuff, great. Make a new account, post all the shit you want, and fucking warn people. I just, you know, I think it's really fucked up to be like, uh, post it to the timeline where you know, like, all of your friends are now going to see it. Yes. W- without like, yeah. you're doing that just for your own benefits. Just yeah. Because yeah. you want attention. I've seen, I've stats popped up a few times, like animals getting their heads. I, can I, can I say fucking... it? Really fucking, but it really fucking makes me really, really angry. Really fucking irrationally mad when people <laughs> when like irrational. there's a shooting that happens. There's a horrible thing, and everybody thoughts and prayers or the icons. No, 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 not even thoughts and prayers. Somebody's offering thoughts and prayers. I don't care. But it's on Twitter when it's like media influencers or, or like creators or YouTubers have to say something, and they don't say anything new or interesting. They only say like so horrible to see what's going on. Sure. Yes. Hope things go well. It's like, dude, you even if you are sad, you are not tweeting that. <laughs> if I could remove 100% of your followers, you would not have tweeted that. No. You're doing it for brownie points. You do, you're making a fucking or, horrible event about yourself. If you're adding nothing, if you're if you look, if you're saying, hey, donate blood here, donate money here, it's different. Yeah. But when you're literally saying, so shocked to see what's happening yeah. at that uh, at that thing. Do you know? Yeah. And you know why? Shut you know the why you know your that's money true. where your mouth is? No. no. And if you up, you know there are terrible things happening around the world every fucking day, several times a day. There were th- there was the fuck. There's been so many shootings and bombings and everything. Yeah, let's. Uh, over the Easter yeah. holiday and shit, yeah. and how many fucking times has it been brought up? Very few times. It tends to be the trending ones. It tends to be the more popular it's the ones. Cool ones. And it's yeah, the or epic whatever ones. it may be. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be sympathetic. Obviously, and Dude, I'm not, like I'm not saying I'm not sympathy. saying anybody shouldn't feel bad. What I'm saying is, when I see media influencers, right. when I see content creators, fucking say something to the effect of almost verbatim, like so shocking to yes. see what's going on. My heart's in, with in, them, in blank. Blah, blah, My heart blah, blah, goes out to you. Yeah. What the fuck did you add? Yeah. Nobody from that thing is seeing your tweet, dude. Yeah. You're doing to make it about yourself. Yeah. And I know some people are going to fight me on that and say that's, that's me being ridiculous. But if you knew some of these fucking sociopaths are doing it for themselves, they want to make it about themselves. They no. want to know, they want to let you know how sad they are. It's right. not. Because Who what, what gives happens a shit? after is they're like, so sorry for this. And then they're talking about their new Gucci's. Yeah, smart. yeah. Oh, like, by the way, we're going to tweet. Yeah, but oh, so <laughs> sad to see 95 people were beheaded. Anyways, we're going to stream in 20 minutes. Dude, I tweet a link to a donation thing. Yeah. A yes. blood bank, fine. I don't care. But you're just tweeting so sad. What I typically yeah. do if like there's a really shitty thing that ha- went on is yeah. I will try not to tweet that day. You know, I'll leave it, give yeah. it a 24 hours because I know like if I said anything funny or, or and sometimes it's really fucked up. Like sometimes you like some event happens and then like someone isn't aware of what's going on and they're just tweeting silly stuff and people are like fucking open up your eyes. Yeah, some, a million people just died. You fucking asshole. You just, yeah. you just, you're just like I was I was taking a shit. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> yeah, and that happens a lot. I see that all the time sure. on my Twitter feed and it's like I'm, sometimes you can't like you can't shoot the messenger look I'm, I'm still adamant that it's good to read the news I think you probably know what's going on but like I, I yeah read the news I fucking hate that? the news <laughs> read the news, the news but but because who wants to get your news from Twitter or something you know what I mean so you know, if, you read, if you read the news, the news anymore. you know who gets the news from Twitter they read articles the fucking news gets the news from yeah, Twitter yeah. it's true they, do you they, know how many fucking <laughs> news articles quote Twitter as a source yeah they, or they, how many right. times it, it is actually scary they use yeah. highlights well, and the only thing people read now in like news is, articles is the t- the title the headline yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah. But all, all I meant to say was like, read the news, fine. I think I still think it's a good thing. I, I it's too, depressing, right. but read the news. But when you tweet about the news, or I, I know this firsthand, whenever you tweet about something, you never feel better. You never feel like you scratch the itch. It always fe- it makes you feel worse. Cause I the pe- stopped tweeting about the news. But yeah, I me too. Me too. Because the people that are agree with you are going to keep agreeing with you. You're never going to change someone's mind. No, you know what's even more it's frustrating is that whatever your opinion. point of view may be, or whatever information yeah. you may give, everyone's going to miss. Not everyone. Many people are going to misinterpret it. Yeah. There are people who want to be antagonized or yeah, want to be for fucking every, angry. For, also, for every one tweet you put out, you have to make three tweets like qualify, to explain. Qualify, explain that's it, yeah. not what you meant. Or, yeah. or obviously, it's more. This is than okay. This is this is a, this is a request to all animators, all artists. The world is a divisive place. Make stuff that everybody can enjoy. You'll feel better. Trust me. You Don't will. fucking inject politics. If you want to do that, do it. But I've really come to the conclusion: TV right now, no matter what show you're watching, left or right, everything is fucking politicized, and it's gonna age. I'm calling it right now. It is gonna of age it is. so fucking it badly. It already has. It already yeah. has. Every Nobody movie, likes dude, TV anymore. every movie and TV show, most movies and TV shows that are coming out right now within the last two or three years are gonna age. You're gonna you're, ten years are gonna go. Oh, it came out in 2017. Yeah. There's a bunch of Trump shit in there. Oh boy, it's gonna age. 
<laughs> fucking badly. Imagine if, imagine if like a bunch of seventies movies had a bunch of like anti Nixon shit in them. <laughs> two, two It'd be things. annoying. I'm just curious. Like, uh, what what are like some right wing shows? Do you what know? do you mean? Oh, uh, one of the shows with like right leaning. Yeah, stints? I don't really know any. I'd say it's, I'd say it's more like actors and okay. people like yeah, two yeah. things about Twitter. You know, you were talking about uh, tweeting out, not tweeting out shit when the big tragedy happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when that New Zealand mosque shooting happened, I tweeted out something really stupid about farts or something, <laughs> and I, I, I didn't know it happened. And everyone was just like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah, nobody like, knows. Yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" And then it's, I figured it out. You have to like either delete it and be like, "Sorry, no tragedy <laughs> happened." They're no, like, "Wow, yeah. you're apologizing for not knowing what." Sorry just about happened? my fart tweet. I didn't know people See, in New Zealand got that's, killed. That's my bad. Thing. <laughs> that's another thing too. You, you ever notice that Twitter promotes? their own moments only ever get like less than a hundred likes and they're embarrassing and that's insanity in the like the biggest website in the world and their their main moments that they promote usually only nobody get a hundred likes nobody, yeah. Yeah. nobody, nobody on earth feature. has ever said oh let's check but our that, twitter moments that I wonder blows what new my I'll fucking find. mind that everyone yeah. has it and no one fucking cares it's here's, like, here's Kylie I, Jenner is the richest fucking <laughs> makeup yeah. artist or yeah ever. well she wore this crazy swimsuit wow when something terrible happens I think there's an expectation from some people that that you should say something, that you should have an opinion, that you should speak up or add your voice to the pool but that's of an support expectation or whatever. From stupid idiot. I, but, well, look, but look, here's look the thing I is, get it. I get. I get if the argument is like, oh, you have like five million Twitter followers, you should help somehow. If you really want to fucking do that, I am fine with that. That's fine. But what I'm shitty on is the just making it about course. you. Like I'm sad. Well, so what, dude? People are dead. Right. And so, so what? That a let's play. Uh, right. Right. No, so no, no, no. All I'm trying to say is top ten. Guy. I agree. I agree. I all, I agree, <laughs> and what I what I would say is this: Jesus. is that can we all just assume, to some degree, and I, maybe it's a bad assumption, maybe I'm just way out on a limb, but can we all assume that if there are terrible tragedies happening, that I'm not at home fucking giggling about it? <laughs> but maybe I don't need to put out a tweet talking about How funny that particular thing no, okay, because I don't horrible. think my tweet if we all are reading the news we all know what the fuck is going on we know yeah. the plot it's bad this shouldn't happen yeah. Yeah. I said it years and years and years ago on this very podcast I said if, if somebody dies and your family of course the whole thing and call back. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Rewind. <laughs> if your first, if your first instinct when a horrible tragedy happens is to pick up your phone and either take a picture, right, or to fucking tweet, yeah, you are a fucking narcissist. Right. Get, yes. get therapy, please. Yeah. I saw our friend Rodrigo sent me some fucking uh, Twitter, a tweet a guy did where it's like, I swear to God, the tweet was like, and I'm not gonna, maybe someone can find it, but like, don't fuck with the guy. But like, some guy tweeted like, my little brother died. I'm gonna miss him, and it's two selfies of him like crying over his dead. <laughs> Brother oh on a hospital bed, God. and it's I, we, like, dude, I get people grieve differently, but what the fuck? We yeah. were we we were watching YouTube videos, yeah. and we saw thumbnails, and and the th you want to talk about how bad clickbait has gotten? We, <laughs> we, this girl, I about this girl you. was holding two babies. She's like, one of my babies has autism, <laughs> and it's just like, and she has like her, I guess it the, was like autism reaction or something. Yeah, it was weird. It's, and then you watch mother the, reacts to autism. It, yeah, it's so fucking horrible. This oh is where we've gotten. God. It was autism. Autism uh, reveal. Uh, I'm sorry. Autism this, reveal. This fucking, like, like this is why, and I'm just gonna say this, this is why we need Sleepy Cap to fucking rant. And this is why it's weird to not do an episode for a hundred years and yeah. come back and we're all just vehemently I was, I was, I was making stuff. note of this. When we first, by the way, five years almost we've been doing this. So yeah. that means we were all in our early 20s. Most of us were early 20s. Five years. Except me, I was 50. Uh -huh. You're, you're 65 right 50 now. 50 year olds over here. You look younger than you were when you started. Mick, Mick was about 400 do, pounds. He had thick Glasses. It's all the, the yeah. little baby placentas. Mixed I've classic eating. mustache got shaved off in season yeah. two. <laughs> Since we started, I think we've all become more aware of all the bullshit. And I myself, like when people are like, like we we have to watch out for ourselves. But at the same time, I realized that like if people wanted to use my background against me. Only thing I can do is own up to it. If people want to say anything, I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I did that." I'm not gonna be like, you know, we grow up. It's like, you know, we we. Yeah, age. no, like, I don't like feel bad about it. Everybody yeah. has fucking grown up. No, I get. I, I would. I would feel bad things. if we were like malicious assholes, try to be hurtful, try to be like racist right. or something, hurt yeah. those feelings. I think like, they know. Everyone knows. Yeah, everyone, everyone knows. knows. Yeah. Everyone no, grows up. Everyone it's evolves. all about intent, right? But no one actually thinks like that. Everyone says, "You said something that offends me, therefore you are a horrible that's person. The, that's yeah. the you're now dehumanized. You're scum on the internet." 
great. Yeah, you're letting, letting, letting like, no, my with. intent was to make people laugh. So yeah, right. well, also. that's what it is. It's not yeah. nobody is at when these big things happen, like when the James Gunn thing happened, right? Yeah. Nobody was actually offended for the most part. I bet some few were, but mostly it was people saying, "Oh, he should get in trouble." Right. Like yeah. we expect him to. It's yeah. never been about, "Oh, this actually hurt my feelings." Nobody actually went, "Oh, I feel bad." It's yeah. You, you're not supposed to say it. Now you're supposed to get in trouble. Yeah. The culture's yeah, changed. Your job is forfeit after. If people are actually getting their feelings hurt, it'd be like, okay, you know, I actually apologize. But it's always, I don't like that guy or girl. I'm going to go after them. They it's were, all it is. But I will say, yeah. the jokes he was making were really cringy baby fucking they jokes. They were fucking yeah, they weird. Were, yeah, and they were old and he funny. is a huge social justice loser. Rose, he was glad Rose got fired. Yeah, so yeah. like come up and, but I see he shouldn't be fired for words. Yeah, but what is this? He not fired yeah. jokes back when he was well, making the movie. And they were a decade old. Too. Yeah, that yeah. was when he was making the movie Super. That I just think like, that our, if you've seen Super, there's literally a scene where, what's her name? Who fucking. Oh, Ellen Page? Yeah, Ellen yeah. Page uh, rapes Dwight from The Office. Yeah. That's a literal <laughs> fucking scene. Spoilers! That's on the Wikipedia. Yeah. Ellen Page rapes <laughs> Dwight from The Office. Rapes <laughs> fucking Dwight. Yeah, yeah. rapes fucking yeah. Dwight. I'm serious. Just all these people, they're just out for blood. Oh, fuck was that? We were talking about <laughs> earlier. Uh, wait, what, wait, did I just lose my thought? Uh oh. We we're saying Sled Gang. You need some Geeko Biloba. And sled, I was saying Sled Gang. I was saying, yeah, fuck. Sled Gang. I think Sled Gang should get their fucking. Shit. The good dude who was doing it. What's really funny. I don't even know what this is. is. What the fuck are you Oh, okay. we were watching this thing called Sled Gang where this kid <laughs> oh my God, slides yeah. down things on a sled and smashes shit and he runs away. How old is he? Like, he looks like 15, but I think he's 21. Yeah, he's just like a little shithead. And but then, he does that McDonald's, like, drop your ice cream cone thing. Oh, oh, shit. oh. He's like a little pug, a little. Yeah. Son of, that a little fucking son of, milk jug smashing crap. You want to hear the. Fuck those you want to hear the ultimate irony of everything? Like I said, they must be destroyed. He uploaded a video, and he actually, it was like kind of like a raw edit, and his friend was like, don't do this. Your mom is going <laughs> to fucking lose her mind. You're an idiot. Don't do this. And he's like, get out of my way. I'm 20. I'm 21. And he's like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. And the guy like moved him, and then when he did it, he fucking knocked the front of his teeth out. Yeah. He face planted on cement. I and love he's that just he... Like, he gets up, he's like... That was a mistake. This is the last video I'm making. <laughs> it's the, it was in <laughs> perfect <laughs> timing. He reached up, touched his tooth, and it yeah. just dropped he out of his mouth. He barely raises his tooth with his fingernail, and it pops out of his head. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. It's hilarious. But you know what? He fucking deserved that, because he's a bastard, and that's the kind of comeuppance that Corey, you don't deserve. Say, don't say the B word. Bitch. Bastard. Oh, benign. well, he's, he, yeah, he's a benign asshole. And <laughs> see, that's the thing. I thought you, like, I, I like when you brought back I believe, I that believe, too well. I yeah. believe in karma to some degree. I believe if you're an asshole, asshole as shit is going to bite you in the Man, ass. It is amazing seeing karma play out in exactly. real life. Exactly. It always karma. happens. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It, it does. Yeah. It's karma so is 100%. I mean, I'm not a guru with this fucking colors and shit, but I can say for a fact, <laughs> personal experience, that karma is can be a bitch and it is real. So it's like how you come about doing stuff. If you're a douchebag, douchebag stuff will happen to you. If you're nice, nice things will happen to you. So try to I don't be... know if it's really the universe attacking you back. It's more like if you treat other people badly, yeah. they start yeah. to fucking treat you badly And people back. say it's like bad juju or like, but that's like, that's just you, like how you come off. It's like, it goes, it just starts building up and building up until just bad shit happens. Yeah. I'd like mm. to believe, I'd like to believe there's some kind of karmic scoreboard keeping track. There's a karmic yeah, yeah. scorpion yeah. in space. But honestly, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't know. I, I get the feeling sometimes that some assholes just get away with it and they mm. live long. They're not lives getting away with it no more, they... Mick. It's <laughs> starting welcome to, to crumble. Welcome to 2019. It's starting to crumble. I'm gonna put my gloves on and uh, start change my name and get ready. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a fucking hypothetical. Okay. Uh, okay, Zach. Hypothetical. For good old time. For good old, for, for good old sake. <laughs> Would you rather sit in a nice warm cabin or go fishing on a nice summer's day? That's a good hypothetical. I'd rather fuck you in the butt, Chris. <laughs> That's not right, one exactly. of the hypothetical. answers. Yeah. You can't just come up with a hypothetical. You can't just do that. I have the hypothetical. Okay, let's, let's, oh, you let's, do? Let's, let's do one. Yeah, Corey, go ahead. Actually, if you have one. So, it goes back to the topic of the 1001. We were talking a lot about death and st yeah. stuff. I'm not I'm not hoping <sighs> like some maniac sets this up. But, hypothetically, <laughs> someone drops you into the fucking series. You're swimming. You're trying to get out. And then some dude helps you out. He's wearing a mask. You can't see him. And he has a little setup of four different items and things mm -hmm. to kill yourself with. Holy crap. You really cool, thought about this. Why the sewer thing? What the fuck is this? Damn. The <laughs> it just felt like a good background. Like it just, <laughs> just, it just puts you in a bad mood. Wait, right? yeah. Yeah. wait so, so somebody. Wait, wait, wait. Well, there's no fucking. Wait, wait, hold on, Corey. Hold on. So, somebody, so other people, people that are not that guy, capture you. You were sleeping like a mummy and you fell into the sewer <laughs> hole. How the fuck did I fall into it? Is this like shit? What am I covered in shit? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Fecal. That's the start. It's like you're already infected with salmonella. You are. You're already going. That has to nothing die. to you do are, with feces. You are Tim score. Robbins in the Shawshank Redemption. You exit, <laughs> yeah. you exit the pipe, and this so man is sitting, you sitting, you sitting, sitting there with a chair. Throws with you in the stool. Do they lock you yeah. away? They leave. Your life is forfeit because five football fail. Your life is forfeit because you now have salmonella from indulging in shit in your mouth. Shit. So now there's four things laid astrewed about you. There's four ways you can fucking croak. Okay. The first way there's a sewer grate. There's a sewer hole. <laughs> you crawl through it. What happened to the potions? Potions? What are you talking about? There was no potions, you the psycho. The elixirs, the, th the four things he gives you. No, well, wait, you said things. there were four items. One of the items, items is a, another sewer hole? The sewer hole is four things. Four, like, oh, okay. The right. sewer hole, you'll eventually have to crawl through. Crawl? Yeah. Crawl through. You have to crawl through the sewer hole. You have to crawl through. And go die. Yeah. You have to eat your way out. Yeah. How does that kill you? Well, you get stuck, and then the rats eat you. That's how you die. You're face down in a sewer hole, stuck at rats. Okay, yeah, no. What's next? Next? And you have to smell shit. Yeah, what's, okay. what's the next one? Yeah, move on to the next yeah, one. The next one? <laughs> That's pretty the bad. The next one is, there's a vat of fucking cement in front of you. Okay. And you have to crawl into it and then basically sleep in the cement while they put a brick over you. <laughs> what? Why, how do you sleep? sleep? Do they give you, like, sleep medication? Yeah, they give Can you I? some Zyanac. You <laughs> into the cement. Alright, yeah, keep this going. Is, keep going. I, Wait, is the, this does the cement go over my head? This is 1,001 ways people have died. Right. These are the reasons why they have died. No, this go 1,001 ways Corey kills you. No, no. These hey, Corey, you're the best. Like, these you're, like, are you're the ways. fucking yeah. creep in the mask. These are actual <laughs> ways people die. Okay. Like, the first way was- That's not real! <laughs> you're no. not telling me someone got f stuck face down and rats <laughs> ate him. No, that is real. No, it's not! It is real! <laughs> I'm sure it happened at one point. It he did not real. get eaten alive by <laughs> he rats. He, he died, died and then he, he got died eaten. Died no, no, rats he ate Chris, I swear to God, he was a convict <laughs> and he escaped- This show was made by fucking idiots! No, they gather information of people who have died They make this shit up, Corey. Chris, this was not made up. I, I have, to, you have to admit that at some point they, somebody got stuck in a sewer they, and rats they killed They take them. situations of people and they like blow it up. Obviously, it's not the same people. But so what's the second scenario? This is the cement, right? <laughs> yeah, C drunk, cement. What's the third like, scenario? What happened this in this scenario was ponderous. the guy fell into the cement and he died by being drunk and he fell into the cement. You said he, you said he went to sleep in it. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, he like fell into the cement. He had a fucking candle, a night hat, and a fucking blanket over yeah. his shoulder. <laughs> he sucked his thumb and fell into the cement. <laughs> Then what? Third guy. Okay, the third guy was playing golf. Oh. All right. I remember Wait, this I'm one. in a sewer playing golf. No, you no. What? The third guy was playing golf, oh. and he was going to swing, and the other guy accidentally fell down. This is a weird setup for this one. And the weird guy fell down, and the guy fucking swung his thing, and was. Oh. 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 Yes. Tell me the guy's head. head. You tell me the guy's head fell like his open mouth <laughs> fell on a golf ball, <laughs> and then the head even bashed into the. How thing. would you? How would you accidentally hit someone's head? Whoops. The time it would take. <laughs> I don't know, but these are like re reaccounted. But do you know things. what I'm saying? Like if the tee, if the ball has a tee on it, Corey, his mouth would have to go over the ball. He else fell his... onto the ball, and the guy like was swinging. The guy was coming in with the things, and he tripped and fell. All these people died by accident, or either by all of these scenarios so far. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying all so far sound like what a mafia guy would say on the stand to a jury. <laughs> I don't know. He just, I was swinging the golf club they and he just fell down, down on the ball. So what's like the fourth they made he just show. fell down in the cement. He was taking a nap. So what's the fourth, <laughs> what's the fourth sewer death? The fourth one, like, was basically, it was something Mick said where this person was in a pool and it was like warmed up or maybe it was like a sauna and he was just resting in it and eventually <laughs> he, it became, because the more hot something is, the more relaxing it becomes and he took like, um, uh, the things that make you relax and get like tired. Like Xanax? Yeah, and he basically cooked alive. So he wait, 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 was he like boiled. People have definitely died in hot tubs. Yeah, you, see, you say he cooked his tummy up into juice. Like it's he tummy just, tum. He basically cooked his tummy into a big yeah. yeah, and I'm saying like you have to choose one of these. Oh, uh, the golf one because you just die in two seconds. Really? Do you yeah. though, or do you just get like crippling brain damage for a little bit? It sounds like the it guy. It was a trick question, Zach. You already got salmonella at the beginning. You're gonna die anyway. <laughs> 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 Like that. How did I get someone really, out of the sewer? What did Corey, I eat? I tried doing like hypotheticals with someone, and he always changed the fucking rules. So it's like, <laughs> it's way better when people aren't being consistent. Okay. Like I'd be like, you're in a room. This guy, the weirdo rapist, is gonna rape you. And I'm like, okay, well I leave. And he's like, there's no door. Yeah. Like, you're saying you were. Yeah. With, yeah. I was hold on, you hold always on. do that. Are you saying you were? No, it's not Zach. You it were is. with the guy and that changed the rules. Sense. That was Zach every time. Yeah. Zach would be like, oh yeah, you're I in a room. There's a man trying to rape you. Oh, what do you do? I I run. 
away. You can't run away. Your legs are tied together. Uh, then I, I f- try to fight him off with my hands. You can't. You have no hands. Yeah. And his dick is already in your butt. What do you do? Just look for the window. Okay, let's no play window. the game where we all let's play the game where we all say a word. Yeah, come on, Jeff. Come on, uh, Jeff, buddy. The Jeff, come on, you. Yeah. you the this boy. Is it, Jeff. <laughs> boy. No, start again. The boy. Ghost. Ghost. Boy ghost. Oh, the boy ghost. Cover. Was slippery because he jumped within <laughs> the tall <laughs> erect tree. <laughs> the end. A great story. A classic. <laughs> oh my god. Another, another. Another. Okay. And retard. <laughs> Really, that's the end. That's the end. Of that one. Okay, let's start. Do another. And, and retard. Okay, another. Another. This is the one. Corey start. Corey start. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Question mark. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> Do another. The. Jeff, oh, you, you can't think words. about it. You have to. Fuck? Jeff, the first one. Once upon a time. Corey, go. Once. A little. Cheap. Small. Did you say cheap? Sheep. <laughs> sheep. Sheep. What did sheep. You say? I think oh, sheep. Sheep. I think it's a cheap. Yeah, okay, once a sheep. little sheep. Once a little sheep. Ran his <laughs> mouth <laughs> off. Then his <laughs> ass <laughs> prolapsed. <laughs> That's sad. Heavily. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. ran his mouth off and prolapsed. <laughs> 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 Do another, one more. Mix oh start. Make cut like really nice fairy tale. Hey, like this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> be like, once upon a time. <laughs> Do one more, Mick, go. All right. 1,075 million <laughs> pennies. <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's the fucking recording. 1,075 million pennies fell dramatically into the mouth. Of <laughs> two words. <laughs> you gotta say, That's the hyphen mouth. The mouth. Corey the double dick. Mouth. Fucking pick two words. Yes. <laughs> we'll start again. <laughs> One more. Unbeknownst to the devilish woman, slyly she unzipped her blouse when hyphen suddenly she saw a pecker <laughs> peeking. <laughs> In her. Farted. <laughs> farted. I heard that. <laughs> you said Becker and farted. I think that means something. That counts. Wait, that counts. That's the most. That, it, Was that your word? Yeah. Chris, if somebody on Twitter saw that, that hits you, they saw you say Pecker and fart, they go, oh. <laughs> But it's terrible. That's like, that's gonna like that's have people psychoanalyzing yeah. me now. <laughs> oh god. Fuck this. Can we end? Mm-hmm. Okay, Mac. Give us a good ending. Mick, like, we're not gonna say anything right after. After when I'm done with this, no one's ever gonna say anything. You have to end it 100 percent right after now. This ends. This is over. <laughs> you made we it. Fucking throw down. <laughs> we say our goodbye. All right, guys. Um, I want to thank everyone for listening <laughs> to uh, <laughs> the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, it's been a good ride. <laughs> <laughs> we've got uh, we've got a bunch. Of uh, oh, go, go. Patreon questions oh, that we need to answer, oh, and uh, we're gonna pull them up right now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>